This week, one of the most influential people in esports stepped down from their position. Alexander Garfield stepped down as CEO of Good Game Agency. Good Game Agency is the company at the head of Team Evil Geniuses and The Alliance. The company was bought by Twitch in late 2014, Twitch itself having been acquired by Amazon for approximately $1 billion. This is a story that I don't see many people talking about, and it really shocks me because this is a story that I think might be the biggest thing to happen in 2016 for esports. Alexander Garfield was enormously influential in bringing esports to the point that it is right now. So I want to talk a little bit in this video about why he might have stepped down from his position and the factors that may or may not have played in that decision. First off, it's important to draw the timeline. Of course, Twitch was bought by Amazon for just under $1 billion just before Twitch acquired Good Game. Now, when Good Game was bought by Twitch, Alexander Garfield posted a statement on the Good Game Agency website. There are three key points that I want to emphasize from that statement. First of all, Alex lets us know that there were many offers to buy Good Game Agency, and apparently they had ridiculous dollar values attached to them. But Good Game Agency went with Twitch because they believed that was the company that most understood esports, most understood the brand, and was going to be the best thing for the teams and players that were under Good Game Agency. Second of all, Alex takes some time and talks about the idea that he doesn't really know what he's doing. He doesn't have all of the answers. He's very unsure of himself and of what he's doing at times, which in many ways is very understandable. According to Alex Garfield's LinkedIn profile, he only has a BA in sociology. And I say only, because that's certainly not what someone would expect for a high-profile business person like Alexander Garfield, not necessarily at least. So the man's education background is not based in business, and we can assume that for a number of years he's been doing the best that he can and playing by ear to enormous success, but we can understand why he says he doesn't always know what he's doing, he doesn't always know that he's doing the right thing. Third, in this statement, Alex talks about his love for esports dating back to the Counter-Strike days and how much it impacted him on his youth. So now let's look at present day Team Evil Geniuses and the Alliance and present day Good Game Agency. It is my opinion that Team Evil Geniuses has gone completely down the tubes. EG was an organization that I and many others marked as the biggest esports team, esports organization in the world outside of tournament organizers. In the 2013-2014 days, it seemed like EG had so much money pumping through them, so much potential, it seemed like they could do almost nothing wrong as a brand because they just kept growing and growing. The Evil Geniuses website has gone unupdated seemingly since 2014. On their website, the milestones listed end in 2014, and there are still team profiles for games like World of Warcraft, Mist of Pandaria, and League of Legends. Not to mention out-of-date nomenclature such as Street Fighter 4 and StarCraft Heart of the Swarm. Second of all, the team is no longer involved in some of the biggest games in the world, or just hasn't been. After seemingly a very brief time in League of Legends, Evil Geniuses has not been involved with that scene, the biggest esport in the world, for a number of years. Granted, Riot Games has had a Taskmaster mentality to their game for quite a while, and it is entirely possible that Alex and Evil Geniuses decided that it was for the best that they avoid that scene. But for an organization that came from Counter-Strike, it is very strange that they don't have a Counter-Strike Global Offensive Squad, Counter-Strike being probably the second biggest esport in the world. Similarly, it's strange that they wouldn't invest in at least one Hearthstone player so that they could have a Hearthstone presence. At the time of filming, Evil Geniuses essentially exists in StarCraft II, the fighting game community, Halo, and their biggest presence is in Dota 2. On the other side of the coin, the Alliance, the other team, under the good game, brand name, seems much less neglected looking at their website. The website and the articles are all far more up to date in 2016. And although there are only two squads on the Alliance, a Dota 2 squad and a Smash Bros player, there's not that issue that EG has where there are now old squads that they're no longer involved with, 
and the players that they have currently are all what I would call topical, if that makes sense. Obviously, the Alliance and EG have different divisions, different people are working on both of those teams, but as somebody who is a very business-minded person, it's interesting to note that Evil Geniuses, what I would call the flagship team in Good Game, the team that started it all, is being neglected and is being forgotten about. So the picture that I'm trying to paint for you guys is the idea that Alex Garfield is somebody who really did care about esports. I've heard some people talking about how esports was never really Alex's major thing. He was always a very passionate musician, but he was never very passionate about esports. It was more of a job. And while that may be true, that doesn't mean that he wasn't passionate about his vision for his brand and his company. Once again, in the statement that he put out when Twitch acquired Good Game Agency, he talked about how he had turned down many offers with lots and lots of money involved because he didn't believe those companies were going to be right for the players and the teams that he was representing. So now in 2016, we're looking at a Twitch Good Game Agency partnership that hasn't really done that much, it seems. In fact, if anything, the pickup of Good Game Agency by Twitch really spells an end of an era for Team Evil Geniuses. It spells the end of an era of growth and expansion and it talks of one where the team is now in decline and scaling back. Why that's the case, I have no idea. It may not be Twitch at all, it may be something else. But this video is all about speculation, and if I'm going to speculate, it seems that Twitch and Alex Garfield had very different visions of the future and very different visions for their brands. And if we're going to speculate, it seems as though Alex's vision was neutered in the past two years, which would explain why he would step down from the prominent position in the industry that he formerly had with Twitch and Good Game. Looking ahead to the future, I have no idea if Alex Garfield will stay in esports. It seems unlikely that he'll start a new project and a new team from the very ground up. Maybe he'll be picked up by another organization, put in charge of another team, although that seems almost so foreign that I can't even think about it. Alex Garfield running a Fnatic or a Dignitas or anything other than Evil Geniuses is so strange and so foreign. This is somebody who worked very hard to reach the point that he did. In my opinion, Alex Garfield is esports own Bill Gates. This is somebody who anyone in management should aspire to be. I know he's been a polarizing figure at points in the past, but in terms of success, in terms of the business, in terms of how he conducted himself within his organization, I think that the past number of years reflect very well on Alexander Garfield. Tell me what you think, you guys. Let me know in the comment section down below. I'm actually going to post the mp3 of this on my SoundCloud. If you're listening on SoundCloud, then cool, check out my YouTube. If you're listening on YouTube, then hey, check out my SoundCloud. There's going to be an mp3 available for download. Shoutouts to Root Gaming. Thanks a lot, guys, for hosting my content. Also, huge shoutouts to John Drake on SoundCloud as well. Please go follow him. All the backing music that's in Science Corner is provided by him. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.